What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to give you guys a little update of the van, show you guys all the new updates I've done and talk about what's left to come. So let's do it. <laughs> So to start, we have our mosquito net here, super cheap from Amazon, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Has this magnetic opening, so it'll clasp shut. And the great thing about that is too, you can push it on the door. Now you have a little opening. So right here, made a little door and you can access the water tanks. Got our gray water and fresh water. So super cheap setup here. I used to have the big food grade uh, bottles in here, but after a while they get nasty anyway. So it's almost easier to just use these big five gallon containers and just swap them out every other time or so. All our electronics, still need to figure out how to kind of hide these a little bit better. But this is kind of the control station here. We got all our light switch panels. Uh, these two are our lights up here. We got front and back. Third switch is our fan up there, which we'll get into. And fourth switch is our water pump for the sink. So I like to have that on a switch, just in case you kind of kill switch, turn it off, but don't worry about it. And here we also have our Ebaspecha heater, which heats the van from underneath the passenger seat. This is one of the more expensive upgrades in the van I have. I think it was $1,100, $1,200 or something. Um, kind of easy to install. Lots of videos out there if you do need help, but this is a lifesaver, especially when going up north in the winter. Uh, I usually go snowboarding once or twice a year, so this is a lifesaver. Just taps off the diesel fluid line um, and makes it nice and toasty in here. Also on the control panel, we have 12 volt cigarette lighter, and USB, which is nice. You charge your phone right here for camping. Nice to have that up here. Of course, you gotta have the double swivel chairs just to open up this area, make it nice to sit down and relax. Those are a nice pricey upgrade, but it's worth going with the more expensive option because you don't wanna cheap out. And if you have an accident, you want that to be secure and safe and not super janky. So spend the money on those. Moving over here to our second countertop, we have our fridge. I ended up going with the stay cool, stay cool. However you say that, basically the cheap Dometic fridge. Uh, it's worked great. You can use it as a freezer or a fridge. It has a little dairy compartment in there. It does use a decent amount of power, but especially if you're plugged in somewhere, you don't have to worry about it. Or I'll get into the DC to DC charger, but that also makes it nice. So we got that on a rolly platform with the soft clothes, of course. Gotta have that. And just a little bungee to close it up. Going into the DC to DC charger, the van is running and our solar battery is dead. It will charge from the alternator and go straight to our solar battery. And if it's full, it just shuts off and doesn't use it. Also has a mobile app, which actually sucks and also keeps unpairing from your phone. So, can't talk good about that, but yeah, it's so nice to have that. Once you're cruising, it'll fill up the Yeti in not even an hour probably. So, also put a kill switch on there because sometimes when I just commute uh, and I go to work, I don't want it to keep charging and non-charging the battery. So I can turn this off and on so we don't have to use that at all times because the app sucks and I can't use it on my phone. So, going to the power, that goes straight to our Yeti which we have hidden in here. A little bit pain in the butt to get to. Uh, still gonna change this positioning probably because I'm not convinced. But yeah, this is our Yeti battery. I forget which one it is. I'll put it on the screen. Works perfect. But yeah, a few days that thing will run with just the lights and cell phone charging and your basic electronics. And if you have sun, you know, you can go a few weeks. I don't have solar up there right now because we just redid the roof rack, which I'll get into, which is great that we have the DC to DC charger right now because that's our main source of power. When the van is running, it charges our battery and it keeps it charged. So also 
Got two drawers here. One for our little stove top, which we use outside, not in here. And another little drawer, extra space. We got a cubby in there, box full of our camping supplies. And got our power, of course, here next to the bed. USB, which brings us to the back of the van. Got a nice little plant, keep it nice and cozy. Fake, if you can't tell. And got our mirror, so everybody needs a mirror, and this can come out. So if you're brushing your teeth over here, easy. Nice to have. So here's our bed. I'll show you how I made this. Super simple. PVC pipe, brackets to hold against, whatever metal pipe here, little corner, and then just attaches. And you have a perfect swivel, cheap swivel. I'll link the video in the description where I found how to do this. But super simple. Instead of spending a couple hundred bucks on that stand, this was maybe 20, 20 or 30 bucks. It's nice, you move it away, swivel it wherever you like. And even, you can bring it out. When you're camping out here, it kind of sticks out. Up here, we have our overhead compartments. We put doors on those because my buddy, who's a woodworker, helped me make those. And we ran out of time. He ended up closing his shop. And now we have this on the other side, which I think is perfect. Easy access, a little slower access. Kind of put things away that you're not using as much over there. So back here, one thing we need to finish, we're gonna close that off. I think I said that in my last video. Here we are talking about it again. We're gonna close this off so it looks nice from the back. But right now, that goes all the way through. We got our little levelers, our toolbox. No, no money in there. All full of tools. And over here, camping chairs, ladder to get on the roof, which we will get into in a second. First, let me show you guys how I make this into a bed. Here's our bed. So I think initially when I measured this out, I kind of did some bad math, but instead of those all folding straight, this just kind of sits up level, which is nice because even though this is all completely insulated, it does get kind of cold in the walls here. Having this little extra wall of warmth is perfect. So yeah, that's the bed. So one side's a little longer for me. My wife is a little shorter. She gets the short side. That way we have extra countertop on this side and sacrificing a little more on this side. Here's our fan. This is the Max something. I'll put it on the screen if I can find out. The biggest mistake I made is I bought the, the fan that only goes out. It only sucks the air out, which is great. If you open the door, you have a nice breeze, but I don't have the option to suck in air. I've tried to switch the wires around just to see if I can put a switch between the power uh, to see if I can get it to just operate the other way. Uh, no luck. So for now, this only sucks out, which kind of sucks. No pun, but it does the job for now. All right, that's pretty much on the inside. Let's go check out this roof rack. Welcome to the roof rack. We got pressure treated wood planks on top of aluminum crossbars with aluminum sidebars here. I was looking at getting the Mercedes specific ones, but they were super expensive just for the side brackets. So I ended up just getting these at the local hardware store, cutting them length, putting them on there and then using them for the sides as well as the cross beams. And we got these fancy bolts in there that grab by themselves. So once you start tightening the bolt, those lock into place. So we can loosen these and move these side to side. Make sure to add some mounting points. Hole for the fan. And yeah, now we have a deck. We can sit up here, have a good time. This is a game changer. The only thing to add to this is an actual ladder. Wow. 
This is a super cool, fancy ladder that gets all small. I'd like to have something permanent. And it also looks super sweet. So, and that's pretty much it. So the things to add, the thing about condensing this countertop and potentially putting a shower slash bathroom here, is it's the one thing we're missing in this van. On longer trips, it's nice to have a shower uh, if we're not able to access a campground shower or something like that. And other than that, just a couple tiny little fixes, covering things up as I talked about. So for now, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out my van. Make sure you subscribe, like the video if you liked what you saw. And see you next time. Hey,